thing is hot. Take 5,000. <laughs> I got it this time. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Raven Joseph and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk to you about three things that I cannot live without. I just want to introduce myself. I am from New York City and I'm a full-time educator. I've been teaching for seven years now and I, yeah, I, it's hard, it's still hard. I'm a veteran officially after five years, right? But it's still hard. This page is just going to be a page where I just talk about things I care about, things that bother me, things that, you know, it's just like my soapbox. So you're going to see different topics. Um, They'll be streamlined eventually, but just for now, I'm just going to get on here because one of my goals was to start this page this year and it was also my goal last year and I didn't start it because I was in school, but that's still no excuse for this year. I'm like, I don't have a camera. I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. I'm just going to start it because I procrastinate like crazy. So yeah, three things I cannot live without. I cannot live without my bookshelf. That's number one, my bookshelf. So my bookshelf has so many books on it that I love. So many books on it that I haven't even read. But it keeps me going. Yeah. There's always some type of motivation on that bookshelf. And the reason why I don't buy books as much as I used to is because I don't have any room. So I have more than enough to read this summer, but of course I'm going to spend my money and buy more books. For the time being, I do go to the public library quite often. Actually, I'm at my desk now and yeah, I'm reading about shame. Let's see where this will take me. Yes, I am a weirdo, so you're going to find a lot of interesting and weird shit on this channel. Okay. Yeah, another thing I cannot live without is... I would say my laptop because I love doing a lot of research. Yeah, I can't live without that. I can't live without not knowing or not learning or not thriving or not growing or yeah. If there was no, I mean, I granted I could live without my, my internet, right? Like that's how people did it back in the day, but it's just so easy to connect and be and reach out to people and like collaborate and see about events to go to, to actually talk to people. But it's also, you know, a way just to relax. I pay, play Candy Crush a lot on my lap, my laptop. I don't stalk people, but I pay. I used to. I used to stalk people <laughs> when I was younger, especially my my boyfriends. But yeah, now I just do research on it. A lot of research, a lot of organizing of my life. Another thing, finally, I cannot live without is. Can I see my apartment? I don't know if that would fall under an act. Well, it's a thing, right? My apartment's a thing. It's not a person. Well, it's a place. Uh, hmm. I don't know. But maybe even my <laughs> part of my apartment, my living room. Because I feel like it's just a space for me to turn everything off. I can't live without that. So not technically this space, but any like just not having the opportunity to just shut everything down and get away from the fuckery, the the bullshit technically. Like hide out from it just to like be still and like get back to focusing or you know, just avoid the negative energy. I think I would be miserable as hell. So I'm just appreciative of having this space for just me that I don't have to answer to anyone yes so yeah that's a little bit about me i'm gonna make this short i'm not gonna go into too much of anything today but yeah before i go i just want to say if there's anything that you're interested in talking about or like hearing about i guess you can comment below just say hi welcome okay i'm here hopefully for a long time yeah have a good one and don't forget to subscribe to my channel later.